a short live. I haven't been on this walk in a minute, but um, don't waste your room on fake people. I'm gonna wait for people to come in here. Won't be long live. But y'all know how the spirit is sometimes, man. I be saying that and then it's an hour long. I hope not. I hope and pray this message could just be less than like 10, 20 minutes, but let's see what happens. But yeah, if y'all if y'all are just joining in, watching this on the pre-live, uh, pre-recorded, smash the like. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do not waste your real and fake people. What does the scripture say? Scripture says, um, you know, don't cast your pearls on the swine. Um, it also says, when you rebuke a wicked person, they're going to hate you. But when you rebuke a wise man, he will love you more. So pretty much don't waste your real and fake people. Don't, don't give your energy to people who just aren't, who, who aren't worthy or val valuable to receive your energy. Okay. Uh, there's a saying that, um, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. No, no, no. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice shame on me like that something like that and that's facts because if you mess up the first time when you when you waste your real and fake people the first time okay you know shame on them but once you realize that these are fake people these are low vibrational people uh carnal people low vibration means someone who's a slave to carnality everything is just the flesh everything is physical to these demons man and these spiritually dead people these zombies it's you got to be careful being around these type of, I was going to say being around these type of spirits, but these are spiritually dead people. They don't even possess a spirit. It's just a body, the body, and it just feeds on the flesh. It feeds on the flesh. When you have a spirit, you can't be just feeding the flesh all the time. Your spirit is going to get like, bro, I got to eat too. You know, your spirit is going to be like, hey, I got to eat too. I got to start praying more, reading my word, fasting. I got to do some type of spiritual stuff too. But those people who do not possess a spirit, who are spiritually dead, the man who wanders from the way of understanding shall remain in the congrega congregation of the dead. So even the Bible is letting you know that there's people who walk around this earth who are spiritually dead, organic portals, whatever you want to call them. Okay. And you giving your energy to these type of people, man, it's going to have you effed up out here, bro. So just be very careful. Remember, he who re rebukes a wicked person receives himself a blot. All right. And he, re who, he who rebukes a wise man, um, he, re he rebukes a wise man shall have a favor or something like that. I don't got my Bible on me, so I don't know the verse by heart, but it's something like that. And that's very true because when, when I was rebuked by people, especially when I first came into this truth, I didn't really know the Bible. I didn't really know my wrongdoings. There was a, there was a preacher on the street and he was preaching that real. He was preaching that fire and he wasn't preaching directly toward, uh, to me, but I could hear him. And like I said, I didn't even know what sin was back then. I didn't know what anything was, you know, when it comes to like spirituality and all that. And like, I loved him. You know, like I, 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 even though it hurt, it hurt to, to have that day, the truth digest, uh, digest in me because the truth hurts. But at the same time, the truth is what heals. The truth is what changes you, renews you. And so even though it might go against your programming, if it's the God's word, you can't go against that. You got to, that's just the truth, you know? So uh, what's up, D-Double? Let me greet the people real quick. What's up, Maria or Marie? What's up, TJ Black, or DJ Black? What's up, Isabella? Shalom to you, too. Shalom, Cosby. What's up, bro? What's up, AJ? Okay, AJ in the building. What's up, T-Double? Top of the evening. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Something like that. Yeah, something like that, AJ. Yeah, something like that. But that's true. Um, you can't be going back. You, it's, I'm telling you, these last days, guys, you got to be very careful of the company you keep. Remember, the, the man who wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain the congregation of the dead. You don't want to be around these low vibrational demons out here, bro. You don't want to be around these people who, who don't possess a spirit, who, who probably don't even possess a soul. These are soulless people. These, these spiritless people, it's all about the flesh of these demons. Everything is physical. And you being around these type of people, you being around these type of zombies, they're going to drain you too because they're drained. All right? And, you know, us spiritual people, us high vibrational people, a.k.a. spiritual people, if you're around, you're around that type of environment for long, long enough, you're going to become like them. Okay? You're going to become just like them. You know, there's a saying... That you are the fight, you are the company you you keep, and there's also a saying: "Birds of the feather flock together." So the friends you, the the people you surround yourself with, the friends you surround yourself with, you're gonna become like them eventually. Their spirits or their ways of, 
their ways of how they live and stuff like that will latch on to you. Okay, and you can't, and you don't, don't waste your rule on fake people, bro. I'm telling you, even the Bible says, don't cast your pearls into the swine, AKA don't waste your rule on fake people. All right, not everyone can handle the truth. Not everyone could, could receive and accept it. And you gotta be okay with that, man. You also gotta be okay with the fact that maybe your family members won't be saved. Maybe your family members won't make it. Your family members, your loved ones, your friend, okay, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you gotta be okay with that, bro. And you just gotta be willing to walk the path. Because we know what the scripture says that he who loves his mom, his dad, his brother or sister more than me is not worthy of me. So once you see these people aren't on what you're on, you got to keep it moving, bro. Do you love God? Okay. Do you love Jesus? If they're not willing to serve him together with you, then you don't need to be around these type of people, man. And you can love them from a distance. How do you love people from a distance? Pray for them. Or maybe you could, you know, fast for them too. But Pray for these people. That's the, that's the only thing you could really do for these type of people. Remember, birds of a feather flock together. Car carnal people love to be around other carnal people. Spiritually people prefer to be around other spiritually people. Okay? It is what it is. And like I said, when you waste your role on fake people, you're going to find yourself being drained. Energy is going to be drained because you're speaking to something that's just not, that's not able to receive it. They don't have the spirit of truth in them. The Bible talks about the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. That's what a lot of people have in them, the spirit of error. You know, everything is corrupt with them. A lot of people also too as well have been given over to a reprobated mind. What is a reprobate mind? It means a mind that feeds off a sin, a mind that 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 goes against the truth. All right, a, a mind that is it's all the flesh, you know, carnal people, reprobated mind, people who don't love the truth. Also strong delusion. These, God has given them over to a strong delusion. God has given them over to a rough bit of mind. And your dumbass is trying to help them. Your dumbass is trying to save them, even though God put them under a curse. God put them under, they got an ankle, uh, uh, an anchor on their, uh, their feet. All right, and they're just dragging. And in, in this life, it's all like a, it's like a, it's like a boat, right? And the narrow, the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven is all the way at the end, right? The kingdom of heaven is right here, right? And we gotta stroll our way down there, right? And then you got some, some, someone who just can't be helped, someone who just a, uh, you know, a soulless zombie out here, right? And you're like, oh, you're feeling bad. Like, oh, let me go, let me help you out real quick. You know, you feeling bad for them, right? And then you try to help them, you try to help them get back up. But even though God put an anchor of bad luck tied to their feet, He cursed them, and you over here trying to help them, and you over as you're trying to help them, you're gonna fall down there with them too, bro. They're gonna fall down with them too. All right, let the blind lead the blind. Let the blind lead the blind. The people who are spiritually dead, the people who don't have the Holy Spirit, these are blind people. They don't even know where they're going. All right, they don't even know where they're going. So you over here following these people who don't know where they're going, uh, let the blind lead the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, all fall into a ditch. All are going to hell, okay? All are going to hell, man. And I ain't going, like I said, the kingdom of God's over there, right? The kingdom goes right over there, and you just got to keep on moving forward, bro. And if you see the people who, who don't want to change, who are just stuck in their ways, uh, not trying to serve the most high, you see them back? You see them back there? You look back, and you just keep it pushing, bro. They look back? Okay, shoot. <laughs> My soul's on the line, bro. Peace. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be, see, the, this walk is not, is not for the weak. That's why only few are chosen. To be a chosen one, bro, you got to have not only a strong spirit, but you have to have a strong mind because you're, you might see some things on this walk that might that might hurt, bro. That might just get you to go crazy. When God's giving you revelations, when God's opening your spiritual eyes to see, to see people who they are, it's gonna hurt, bro. You gotta have a strong mind, strong spirit, you know, uh, strong soul, and you gotta be you gotta be a warrior out here, man. Because like I said, that this walk is not for the weak. Not many people. That's why only few are chosen. Not many people are willing to sacrifice, man. Not many people are willing to be obedient. Not many people are willing to follow the truth, follow the word of God. And like I said, and sometimes when you look back too, on the way of life, when you're moving forward, you're, 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 going, you're striving straight on the narrow path, right? And you're going straight. Sometimes you might look back. And when you look back a year or two later, you see them still stuck at the same place they're still stuck at because they weren't willing to change. They weren't willing to follow the truth. So you look back and it makes you happy because it makes you realize, dang, I could have been like them. I could have been like, damn, bro. I could have been out here effed up out here in the mission. I could have been like that. So you, sometimes you might look back. Sometimes I might look back, right? 
And it's like, dang, bro, that could have been me. And I just give all praise. As I keep, can you keep moving straight? All praises to the Most High, man. All praises. The Bible says David praise, he said all praises to the Most High seven times a day. So all praises to the Most High because the reason why he praises the Most High all the time, in my opinion, is because there's been so many traps that were set up for him to fail by the enemies, um, you know, his enemies and stuff like that. They set up so many traps for him to fail, but you got to understand this. When someone's anointed, when God anoints someone, what does it mean to be anointed? All right, what does it mean to be anointed? Anointed means God's favor. God has favor over your life. All right, so no matter how many times the enemy, the devil, and all that, right, try to stop him, he had God's favor. So when, even when he did fall, even when uh, the will of his enemies, they, they got the best of him, he, he was anointed. God had favor in his life. So even then, he rose back up. God never allowed him to, to, to be to him to be given over to the will of his enemies. So that's just how it is. When you're anointed, these people are going to try to take you down there with them, man, because they're jealous. Jealousy and envy are cousins. It runs deep in people. All right? And sometimes someone could be jealous of you spiritually, not, not always of the physical, not always like your material stuff. You know, people could also be jealous of you because you're just glowing. You know, and what is the glow? All right, what is the glow? A lot of people say glow. The glow is when you have a light that, that's in, inside you. You're glowing. It's a light inside you. We know that Christ came into the earth to be a light into this world. The light is it, it, the, the, the spirit of Christ. When you have the spirit of Christ in you, you have a light in you. You know, what does the Bible say? Let your uh, light shine forth so it can glor so people can glorify your father in heaven. Something like that. I don't, like I said, I don't have my Bible on me. I'm walking, but this is how it is, bro. Okay, so when you're glowing, that means Christ is in you, all right? And on top of that, like I was saying about not what, and there's so many scriptures I could go over, guys. There's so many scriptures I could, that could correlate with not wasting your real on fake people. What's up? What's up, uh, Azabia? Shalom to you too. Yeah, it's a beautiful Sabbath day today. Check this out, man. I'm not in a cool spot today. I'm right by my house, actually, but... Yeah, you know, just wanted to speak to y'all real quick, man. I love you guys, everyone here. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your peers before swine. Least they trample them under your feet and turn and tear you into pieces. Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Yes. So do not give what's holy unto the dogs. So what does a dog mean? The Bible says dogs will not, uh, in Revelations, like the last chapter says, uh, warmongers and dogs won't inherit the kingdom of God. Something like that. What does a dog, all right? A dog doesn't, when that, that verse is not talking about like an actual animal dog. A dog is unclean. You know, that's what the Bible also says. The unclean in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 7 says the unclean will not inherit the kingdom of God in Christ. So the unclean, you know, the people who, who defile themselves, you know, and you can't, when someone's defiled, what does defiled mean? It means corrupt. When someone, someone hasn't been defiled, they can't, they're unclean, bro. Like, oh, it's only Christ who can wash them. You know, and even us people who aren't, haven't been defiled yet, we have to cry out to the Father and pray for him to wash us clean from our sins, man. The blood of Christ, when, when God sent uh, Christ on the, uh, the tree, you know, and the blood, that's what we need, all right? It was all a reason why that happened. Everything happens for a reason. All that, all the, um, the nails they put up onto him and stuff like that, all that blood was for us, man. We need that blood to wash us from our sins, whether you're spiritually dead or not. Whether you're in the church or not, we got to humble ourselves. Whether you're living in sin or you're not, disobedient or not, we got to humble ourselves and God, please wash us. And we got to, you know, come to him with a clear conscience and, and, and you know, like I said, humble ourselves, get on our knees and please, God, wash us clean from our, our filth, our sins, uh, whether it was sins from like five, ten years ago or, or sins that I'm committing that I don't even know. So it's really about being humble and understanding that you need a savior you know, you need Jesus, all right? And you need to be, you got to listen. God is a father. You got to listen to your father because if you don't listen to your father, you're going to be lost. You're going to be lost, man. And uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Man, you're called. You're chosen. Yep. And I was speaking on why. I was speaking on why they, uh, there's not many few, there's only going to be a few chosen ones. I thought that was a dog real quick, bro. I was like, oh, heck no. Nah. But, um. The reason why there's only a few chosen ones, because like I said, there's not many people who really love God. People talk. It, it's you start. Like, this like with the metaverse coming out. It's all art in this matrix. It's all artificial. It's all fake. You know, and you start to realize most people are fake too. Even in your churches, your pastors and stuff like that, most people aren't really about 
you know, aren't really down with the most high. Most people aren't really to give their life up. That's the people I want in my circle. The people who are willing to die for righteousness, for, for the gospel's sake, that, that's the people you want in your life. The people who are married to wisdom or who, are, who, who declare out of their mouth that wisdom is their sister, that's, that's the people you want in your life, man. You don't want to be around these reprobated minds, the lukewarm, the double mind. Because like I said, you being around these type of people, man, it's, that spirit is going to jump inside you. And now you're going to find yourself being lukewarm. You're going to find yourself, you know, not loving the truth. You know, and that's what happens when someone doesn't love the truth. God gives them over to a strong delusion. All right. No excuses for the chosen. The, the people who are like not really in the truth, they, they have an excuse because they haven't. The gospel hasn't been preached to them yet. But if you the gospel, that's why the Bible even says. The Bible says that um, uh, about um, a man going back to his own vomit. I'm trying to think of the full verse. If someone can, leave it in the description. I know some of y'all know what that verse is. And if you guys can too, hit the like button. Because uh, I guess I might be preaching today. If you guys could get this, this likes up, I'm going to go in. But it's a verse is, um, uh, don't go back to your own. Oh, as a dog goes back to his uh, vomit, a fool goes back to his folly. There you go. There you go. I got it. As a dog goes back to his vomit, a fool returns to his folly. Like I was telling you guys, the Bible says that dogs won't inherit the kingdom of God. Not an animal dog. People who are unclean. All right. The unclean people, they always go back to their vomit. They always go back to their mistakes um, and willfully, willfully. OK, because like I said, some of us fall short. We can't control sometimes when the flesh is getting weak. But some stupid things like or sorry, not stupid, some basic things as in like forsaking things. That's a dog going back to his vomit. All right. You got to let the dogs, the unclean be unclean. You got to let the, the people who are defiled, the people who defile themselves, let them, let them, let them be corrupt, bro. Don't waste your real on fake people. Now show love. Don't don't walk out here in this matrix with hate and 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 madness and stuff like that. Cause sometimes that could happen, you know, because when you see that people aren't really trying to change and and you are and you get mad because they're not trying to go with you and stuff like that, bro. Don't even wait. Don't get mad. Walk in the spirit of love out here and just keep it moving, keep it pushing. Because like I said, not everyone is chosen, bro. And you know a man by his fruits, you know a person by their fruits. All right, because like I said, people talk a lot. People are just talk. Most people are just talk. All right, but you know them by their fruits. They can't deceive. They can deceive. People can deceive you with their words, right? But they, you know, the actions are gonna show. Yeah, uh, a bad tree can't bear good fruit, and a good tree can't uh, bear bad fruit. That's the scripture. So, uh, don't let no one fool you out here. So be that, so then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of their mouth. Yes, exactly. You can't be hot one day and the next day you're cold or you're hot one week and the next week you're cold. And think about it, guys. Do you like to when you go to like a restaurant, right? Let's say you go to like Waffle House or you go to like um, Zaxby's, whatever, right? In and out, all that. You don't want your food lukewarm. You want your food warm. You know, you want your food not too hot, but warm because, you know, if it's too hot, it'll burn your mouth. So but you want your food. You don't want your food you know, hot and cold. It's like, what the heck? You're going to spit that out. It's the same thing God's going to do. It's the same thing. So please don't be out here hot one week and the next week cold and it just keeps on going back. No, you got to pick a side, bro. Choose today whom you will serve. Okay. Choose today whom you will serve every day. Every day, man. This is a dirty spot I'm at right now, man. There's a lot of junk out here, but still going to preach. And not many people are liking the video. So I might have to wrap this up, man. Let's see what y'all are talking about, though. Shalom, what's up? What's up, uh, Daisy? As a fool returns to his vomit, so a fool returns to his fall. Yes, there's even a scripture that says in the book of Peter, it says something like, um, it says, um, it would be better for them not to know the way of righteousness, at least they know it, and go back into their own vomit. Something like that. And I'll leave that verse. I'll leave that verse in the comment section after this video is done because that's a very important, important verse. It is better for them not to even know the way of righteousness, you know, because when you know and you continue to go back to your vomit, then the, damn, bro, you're, you're gone. You're done. You are done. What's up, Mark? And great truth, bro. What's up, bro? What's up, James? What's up, bro? What's up, big brother Mark? All praise the most high. Been trying to catch your life. I had a part-time job, which... I lost, but I know it was God trying to keep me away from the matrix. It's a battle, but God is my strength. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, keep going, guys. Stay strong out here. I'm keeping all y'all in my prayers. 
um, you know, everyone who comments like, Mark, can you pray for me? I might not comment back, but best believe I'm praying for you. There's people in the DMs, stuff like that. I'm always praying for people. All you gotta do is, and oh, also if you want me to pray for you, leave your name too. Cause I like to say a name when I'm praying for someone, you know, it's full, more connected, but um, best believe I'm praying for all the people who, who uh, ask for prayers, jealous because of that greatness God put in you. Yeah, man, people are jealous of the gifts of God, the spiritual gifts you got. The spiritual gifts you got, people are jealous, man. They're haters. A lot of hating ass niggas out here. And, uh, you know, you know, what could you do? You know, what could you do, man? I'm just being obedient to what God has chosen me to do, has called me to do. And if they want to hate, they want to, you know, be a little demon, then that's on them. But like I said, guys, the kingdom of God's over there, right? And all you got to do is just keep on walking straight. And as you keep on walking straight, right, you got sharks on this side right and then you got alligators on this side and they're trying to bite your ass man as <laughs> you just gotta walk straight and they're just trying to bite you they're trying to bite you man and so you just gotta just stay focused no distractions keep going straight you know don't let the you know uh people distract you man i don't want to even bring this dude up but best believe when you're doing when you're doing the right thing there's gonna be people trying to distract you man and it's all they're all working for the devil all they're all working for the devil the, uh, the marine kingdom Marine Kingdom devils, bro. And they're trying to uh, slow you down, stop you on your walk. And like I said, just keep pushing forward. When you have Christ, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is why it's important to meditate, guys, because when you meditate on the scripture, it brings you peace, it brings you clarity. And also, Roman, I'm glad there's a, uh, my subscriber, shout out to Active Wavy. Uh, he left a comment saying that um, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, all things work together for those who are called by God according to his purpose, something like that. And that's another good verse to meditate on. So this is why it's important to meditate because you, you when you're meditating on the scripture, the pro, you, you feel the promises even more. You're more connected to the promises and God's not a liar. The Bible says, let God be true and uh, uh, all men liars. So when God says something in his word, it's the truth, all right? It's the truth. Regardless if you can't see it or not, regardless if you don't have that level of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, uh, you haven't had experiences like to see that, it's the truth, bro. So you got to believe. Believe in the unseen. Blessed are those who have not seen yet. All right? The people on earth, Jesus said, he told them that, um, he told them that, uh, that's in John chapter 20, uh, says like how the people who haven't seen him are more blessed because the people who saw him in the flesh, they saw the works, they saw the miracles. So it was easier to believe because you're see you already see in the eyes. But us people right now, all of us people watching this video and all the believers in the world in today's uh, age, we're more blessed because we believed and we didn't see. We didn't see with the physical eyes. So man, all praise to the most high. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. A lot of jealous, envious spirits everywhere. Yeah, man. Those are demonic spirits. Jealousy and envy? Demonic spirits, man. When people are just jealous and stuff like that, that's demonic. Low vibrational demons. Low vibrational demons, man. Remember, that's just carnality. You know, people who are just so driven by the flesh, that's what they are. Like I said, you got to avoid these type of people. Always, always trying to do something about the flesh. Never about the spirit. You got to avoid these type of people, man. In these last days, these zombies out here, they're going to eat at your spirit, eat at your soul, man. And you just like I said, man, you might have to walk this path alone. Unless you find a righteous brother or sister, then, hey, all praises. And give all glory to God when you find those people. Because in these last days, man, it seems like many people are, you know, even the Bible says in the last days, people would fall away. You know, they would fall away from the truth. And you can see that happening today. You can see a lot of people falling away, people choosing the word, uh, the world, people choosing Satan, pretty much, people choosing Satan. And, uh, you know, people love their, their master, their handler. They love, they love Satan. Most people, that's who they love. And let them love, let them love Satan in peace. Just let them. <laughs> you know, you love God in peace and let the, let these devils and these demons, like that, let them love their master in peace, man. Just focus on the narrow path. Don't let no, nothing distract you. And if anything is coming at your way to distract you, hit the block button. Block. All right. These people aren't worth your energy, man. They're not worth your energy. And energy, I made a video about this a couple of months ago. Energy is a new currency. Facts. Facts. Especially if you're a spiritual person, energy, let me repeat this. Energy is a new currency because your energy out here, there's a reason why the demons come to collect your energy, to steal your energy, to try to drain you of your energy. There's a reason why, guys. 
because once these demons get you by energy and now you're you're like spiritually weak so now you're fulfilling the flesh now you're doing what the desires of the flesh and now you're back to your old ways now you're back to your vomit so as i said you know don't waste your room on fake people aka don't waste your energy on the people who are just aren't ready to receive it oh let me shout you out someone left a super chat shout out to t double i appreciate it bro god bless you man you've been supporting for the past two years bro so i i appreciate you god bless you bro i love you bro you're right mark had to cut off a lot of jealous and envious so-called friends and family members yeah that's what you're gonna have to do man that, that's what you're gonna have to do cut off the people you love the most but remember the bible makes it clear if you love people of the world whether it's your family member or stuff like that your friend or your brother or sister or stuff like that you're not worthy you're not worthy of uh of christ you gotta understand man he died on the tree on the tree for our sins and we're still in sin we're still you know going against the most high you know and for us to choose these these demons and these low vibrational people you're not worthy facts i agree with that when you're a man of truth you can never go against the word bro you you understand man understanding there's a wellspring of life to him who has it okay wisdom knowledge understanding when you're spiritual those are the things th the three things you need you need to possess wisdom knowledge understanding in that order in that order, man. Wisdom, number one. Understanding, number two. And knowledge, number three. Because the Bible even says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. All right? My people perish for uh, lack of knowledge. So you need all those three. Okay? The man who wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain the, the congregation of the dead. So that means you need understanding too. The Bible says to get wisdom. Wisdom gives life to who, them who has it. Okay? So those three things you need. All right? Three things you need. Yeah, I didn't know what it meant, though. The whole dream. I was at school, I think, I, and I broke up a fight, and the girl I stopped from finding a start chasing me, don't you assume me? Damn. Yeah, they're trying to get get a hold on you, uh, Jaden. I'm just gonna stay strong, bro. They shot me and still miss. Yeah, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, uh, TC1. No weapon formed shall prosper. So weapons will form. They're gonna try to, do, you know, shoot you with the fury darts, the fury darts of the wicked, right? They're gonna form, but they won't prosper. So there's no need to, um, no need to uh, fear. Fear not. A man's enemies are of his own household. Yep, that's a good one too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Them demons always trying to shoot me, bro. It's annoying. They try so hard. I'm ready to sell these demons. Yeah, we got to be demon slayers out here, man. Got to be demon slayers, man. Yo, what's up, Salmon? Salmon Lopez. They are totally against the kingdom and the banner church in every corner. I had a similar dream last week. I noticed you made a lot of SR videos, bro. Much needed us warriors need to retain. The more we do, the more we will see the war for what it is. I'm aware that all females on OnlyFans, they all Jezebels. Yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta I gotta start pushing more uh, semen retention videos for your brothers. That's another way of protecting your energy. That's another way of um, not only protecting your energy, but restoring your energy. Let's say if like the demons came to, you know, Come and collect a drain of your energy. Sleep and retention is a great thing to get your energy back. It, it, is, it makes you more focused. It makes you more disciplined. It's just so many benefits to it. You know, so many benefits to sleep and retention. And all men should practice it until you get married. Now, even if you do get married, there might be a season of you abstaining. You know, season of you, you know, getting right. Getting your energy back. Mark, bro, they arrested me wrongly on Jan 7th. And you know the Bible says, fear none of these things. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to keep you in my prayers, uh, James. I see they be trying to get at you, man. My whole family into witchcraft. They hate me because I believe in the most high. I say in worship and prayer. That's what's up. Yeah, worship and prayer is your weapon. Um, and there's a lot of witches out here, man. A lot of witches. I got on seven days. That's what's up, James. Making sure I read all the chat. Keep teaching the truth, man. God bless. Thank you, sunshine. God bless you too. These people were once saved, but they choose to go back to their ways. Yeah, I don't. I, those people, I don't think they were saved in the first place, guys. He said, "Someone's uh, DJ Black said these these people were once saved, but they chose to go back to their ways." I don't think they were saved in the first place. When someone's truly saved, you're still you're, you've been sealed with on your on your forehead. You've been sealed. So these people were never really saved in the first place. 
Like I said, loving God is more just saying out of your mouth that I love God. It's more than just having fringes on your shirt. It's more than just going to, sh to church. It's more than just that, man. Actions. Actions, man. When, when someone, when like, let's say if you get like in a relationship or a friendship, right? You want someone to love you. You want someone to be down for you. Someone to be real for you, right? But, and that requires actions. If they just say out of their mouth, it doesn't really mean much. It doesn't really mean much, man. And this is how you don't get deceived. You pay attention to their actions over their words, man actions god requires action he doesn't give a damn about your words man if it doesn't act, line up with your actions it means nothing it means nothing man so always remember that out here man actions they, people can say oh i love you i'm down for you I'm, I'm with you for life this and that but if the actions ain't backing it up the hell with them man the hell with them don't waste your room on fake people don't 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 do that man facts we will know them by their fruits yep hit the like button everyone yes thank you Jaden. Yeah, that's what they try to do, guys. People talking about the dreams and stuff. They try to get you in the dreams. When, they, when Satan can't get you in the physical, when he can't get a low vibrational demon to, to mess with your energy, to drain you of energy, he's going to mess with you in your dreams. I know it's in my dreams. My dream, I've been sleeping good lately. But now he's now he's using the, the low vibrational, these demons, man. He's using them to drain me of my energy. If he can't get you in the physical, he's going to get you in your dreams. Facts, man. The devil has a job to do, bro. Steal, kill, and destroy. Someone left a super chat. I'm going to sort you out. Shout out to the Team Sal. Thank you. Thank you, sister. I think you're your sister, hopefully. Hard to see is the, sun, the sun's in my eyes, so hard to see out here. But I appreciate the love and support. The people who like the video, uh, the super chat, man, all love, man. I appreciate it. But, um, hey, Mark, they still... Um, you know, I don't like to talk about gang stalking, but... It's real though. It's real. I, I know it's real, but most of the gang talking that I go through is through social media. Uh, my spirit is too strong for them to mess with me in the physical. So they got it. They're cowards, man. The devil's a coward. These gang stalkers are cowards. So they got to mess with me on social media, make 20 diss videos, uh, team up with other agents, you know, other Marine devil. So it's mostly my, the gang talking that happens to me is through the internet. So I don't really take it serious. These are cowards. They cannot mess with me in, the, in face to face. So they got to team up with other demons. So I'm not worried about the gang stalking. I already beat that program. I already told y'all how to beat it. All right, I don't give it my energy. That's another way of protecting your energy. I don't give it my energy. So I beat that program. I beat the gang stalking stuff. I ain't talking about it no more. But like I know it is real. It does happen. It's real. So I'm not going to say it's not. It's all just spiritual warfare at the end of the day. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 or chapter 15 verse 8 this people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me yes yes thank you Daisy thank you Daisy for bringing that word exactly exactly man and he, the Bible even says you know the, the people they appear to be righteous on the outside but in the inside they're full of unclean bones and dead man's bodies or something, uh, something like that uncleanness and dead man's bones man so I said, don't, don't let the physical, this flesh, don't let the eyes deceive you, bro. Test the spirits and you know a person by their fruits, all right? If people are continuing repeating the same patterns, don't, there's a saying too, don't believe or, or don't uh, accept apologies, accept patterns, accept behaviors, because that's who they are, okay? And yes, that is, that's, a, that's a great uh, scripture. That is a great one. My video that I made on uh, to, be, to be lukewarm is to be fake, I was going on that scripture. Uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 8 to 9. You know, that's a good one too. Mark, God bless you always. May God Almighty continue to lead and guide you on this path. Bro. Thank you so much. Bless our children. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm on Steve Richardson again. Always when I'm on a good sh good streak, girls come up in my dream. I woke up three times. Yeah, that's what the, that's what they try to do. Don't be un don't be yoked too quick. Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness exactly exactly so people could give me these scriptures and i'll accept it like i already knew that scripture but i'll accept it because i'm real and remember to be real just means to be righteous that's, that's all what it is so i can but some of these people you'll give it to them and it will just go out to one ear and uh, out the other. So that's why I said, don't waste your room on fake people. Don't waste your energy on these type of demons, man. Don't waste your energy on these type of low vibrational carnal people, man. They're just not able to accept it. And you got to be able to accept that. You got to be able to accept that and just keep on moving. Keep it moving. Keep it, uh, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing, man. But uh, yeah, man, I love you guys. Thank you all for rocking with me. Um... 
I have I for all my Patreon, check out my video that I made yesterday. It's on my it's on my Patreon. It's um I'm actually not gonna say y'all go just go check it. Open the Patreon and go check it out. And uh, I'll be making another video on there tomorrow too as well. Uh, if you haven't already, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Happy Sabbath day.